What's up guys, Mr. Merkel here, and today we're going to be drawing a toucan, okay? So let's get started. So we're going to start with his beak. Um, it's just going to be a sideways re re rectangle. So you're going to want to draw a, a, a rectangle. Or no, it's more like a trapezoid actually. Alright, so we're going to draw a sideways trapezoid with a curve at the bottom like this. Okay, and then, uh, and then we're gonna draw, um, a diagonal line connected to the straight, uh, to the curve line, and we're gonna draw, uh, another curve, uh, and we're gonna draw a curve line, and, um, it's not gonna connect, it's gonna be a tiny bit away from connecting, and then you're gonna, uh, come in. Um, like a spike or a triangle okay and then uh, and then you're gonna want to draw a circle that's overlapping this part of the beak because we're gonna this is just some gu gu guidelines guys so we're gonna want to draw a circle here and then below the circle we're gonna want to draw a I don't know what shape this is I don't know if this is a shape, but just like a wing shape, guys, right below this this circle, just for some guidelines, okay? And next, we are going to uh, start with the head here. Uh, we're going to draw it down so he has a, a neck. And here, we're going to curve in. And come back out like a, a, a backwards S and it's gonna connect to the wing or his body it's kind of his body in a wing and then you can erase the circle that's coming into the beak and the circle right here and the circle that's coming into the and the lines that are coming into the um, so you can erase all the lines like the neck line right here because we drew that in okay so now um i did bad job ex at explaining which lines to erase but that's okay so um next we are going to um right here we're going to erase this okay and um and then we're gonna come and do uh we're gonna about to connect like a like the same thing but then we're gonna draw a triangle okay and then make this line connect to the triangle. Like that. All right. And now you're going to want to uh, do uh, another triangle right here. It's going to come in. Then you're going to have a diagonal line. But it's only slightly going to be diagonal. Okay. And then it's going to come in. In, an, in, an, in another V shape, but it's not. It, but then it's gonna curve into the wing. Okay, guys. So it's just gonna. So this is like a trapezoid right here, and it's gonna come into a V shape and then curve into the wing. Okay, so then right here in this area. Huh. Right here in this area, we're gonna draw his eye. So what you so what you're gonna want to do is draw a circle, and then um, if there's any sketch lines in the circle, just erase them. And then in the middle of the circle, you want to draw another circle in the circle. Then you're gonna want to draw another circle in that circle. And then you're gonna to want to color in black the um, the surrounding part of the middle circle, but not the circle inside the middle circle. Okay, so that's his people. Okay, and so now um, now you're gonna to want to um, make this line darker, like that. Okay, so now we're gonna um, 
Now let's come down to its body slash wing. So here we're going to draw its tail coming out and then we're going to so a, a curve line and then like a step right here. So it's gonna come in straight and then up a tiny bit and then it's gonna curve and it's gonna come in and that's his tail and then right here we're going to erase this and draw the feathers um, on his wing okay so we're going to want to um, draw the first feather come in like this okay so it's like a curve line we're gonna draw a curve line and then um, uh, d then you're gonna want to draw a dot diagonal from the curve line and draw like another f then you're gonna draw another feather with the curve line connecting to the side of it and then you're gonna want to draw this out right here and then you're gonna want to draw a smaller tri uh, a smaller tri triangle right here and then you're going to want to draw a fatter one right here. Okay. And then you're going to want to draw a smaller curve. Like a super small curve. Like the first one, but really smaller. Um, right there. And then we're going to connect this wing. Or this part of the wing to that. Alright, so that's his feathers coming down, guys. Uh, if you want, you can make like the bigger feather come down more. So it's so people know that it's larger than all the others. Okay, so now um so next you're going to want to draw his feet. So um right here on his tail, right here on his tail, you're gonna want to draw a half circle. Okay? And then right next to that, you're gonna want to draw a slightly smaller half circle. Okay, and then you're gonna want to draw two diagonal lines coming up of those half circles and then it's going to be like a hook so it comes down into a curved line and then it comes back around and then so it's like a hook so it comes down in a curved line and then you draw in the hook shape and then on the other side draw a curved line and this is a block of wood that's going to be on. So just do like, um, you're going to want to make this one really small because it's going to be coming out. So here's a block of wood, like, um, right here. And then it's going to be coming out, like here's a tree. So here's a quick example of what the tree's going to look like. So it's going to come out. Okay, guys? So this is behind the tree. And then you're going to want to make his toes coming out from the tree. So you're going to want to draw a triangle. And then you're going to want to draw an another triangle like that. And those are his toes coming out of the underside of the branch. And then uh, you're going to do the same thing with the other one. But you're going to make it more diagonal like this. I made it go a bit too far out, sorry. And then, um, so you're gonna you wanna erase this part of the wood, uh, of the tree, I mean. And then you're gonna wanna draw the same hook shape, curve it around to the bottom of the tree, curve back around, and connect it to the tree. Like this, and then connect it back. Okay. So then you're going to want to draw the bottom of the tree back and do the same thing with the toes like this. You're going to want to draw a triangle but not fully connect it and draw another triangle coming out from there that's fully connected. Okay. So then we're going to come back to his uh, beak and we're going to make this part curved. Okay. So we're going to make this part curve like this 
and then erase right here. So now his beak is more curved. And uh, let's finish the tree really fast. So you just want to come up like this, and then you're just gonna then you're gonna want to make some random branches like just so you're gonna want to make the tree come off the paper, the main tree come off the paper like this, and then like you're gonna come up, and it gets thinner as it goes up. It's so, like I made the top way too thick, so we're gonna make the top really thin. And it gets thicker as it goes down, just like that. And then we're gonna finish the bottom. It's gonna come out right there, like so. So as you can see, it's getting thicker. And then on this side of the branch, you can just draw some random branches. same thing down here so we're going to erase this part and draw the same thing You guys have it so I'm um, here you're gonna want to um, uh, on this side you're gonna want to color in the the toucan and then this wing you're gonna want to color it in black too but before I do that we're gonna make a curve line right here or a lump and, you're, and then we're gonna make like two more lumps right here this just for detail guys you don't have to do this this part's optional and here we're going to make another curve line. And we're going to make a bigger curve line. And then a small lump. And then a big lump. And then a small bump. And here we're going to do two equal size, uh, like, two equal size bumps. And you're, you can just add some random ones. Like this. Okay. And then we're going to color this wing in and this tail in black. Okay guys, so now I'm going to trace my bird uh, and the branch, or in the tree that he's on. Okay guys, uh, right now I'm using a thin Sharpie uh, to trace the bird. And uh, I'm gonna put something under it so that way it doesn't go through the paper and ruin the table i suggest you guys do the same thing okay guys so that's how you draw a toucan um thanks for watching and uh i post on the weekends um and any day i have off from school see you in the next one